Back at 645 this morning, our school of the week is special for so many reasons. One filled with so much history and a lot of memories. Uh, Springdale Elementary, a school that has stood tall for 53 years, is saying goodbye to its old building and hello to a new one. Morning reporter Freeha Bar checked out how the school's getting ready to move out of the old and into the new. Good morning, Freeha. Good morning. Out with the old and in with the new is the motto that we keep hearing. But before we be get to say goodbye to the old building at Springdale Elementary, the school's inviting us to take a trip down memory lane. It, it was here at school. Where bonds formed over 53 years. They had heard that Springdale was the best school in the county and that is where they wanted their babies to grow up. So my brother and sister and I both all went to school here. It's how the story starts for many from Macon Bibb, like Megan Giles. And then we lived together in college. And her best friend, Rebecca White. They met as Eagles in the first grade at Springdale Elementary. And after graduating as dogs from the University of Georgia, they reconnected once again at home. I knew I wanted to be at Springdale. It was, there, there was no other choice for me. I was like, if I'm going to teach, I'm going to teach at Springdale. Nearly 20 years later, she thinks her parents taught her well. I was the youngest teacher for a very long time. So all the other teachers that I was with were like my mom and they took care of me and they taught me what I needed to know and made sure I was successful. Then five years ago, White also returned. Um, it just brings it full circle back to where I started to the spot they call home. Um, even when I wasn't working here, driving by it every day, remembering it, it's, it's been a staple. So it's gonna be sad to see it go and be able to see and feel the memories of it. But at the same time, it's very deserving of, of a new space. Out with the old and in with the new. A building replacing the original is opening in the fall. Let me make a box. I need my tape. It's a family and just like a family movement, it's going to be very exciting. <laughs> I imagine this little parade of kids carrying these boxes, they're too heavy. I can hardly lift them. There's going to have to be a jack to do it. Like, it is not going to happen. And like a lot of the Eagles, <laughs> Principal Cami Hamlin's feeling bittersweet about leaving their longtime nest. I mean, I spent 13 years of my life here. One quarter of the building's existence, I have been in this building. Um, and I have friends that their kids went to school here. And we need closure, too. We are excited about the new building, but we are also sad about leaving this behind. But aside from moving away a few feet, most things will stay the same, like Counselor White and Librarian Giles's bond. And the Eagles' legacy will also continue to soar. I want to make <laughs> memories with my friends. You know, learning is such a profound privilege. People need to remember the value of education and what a privilege is. There are many children that do not get to go to school, and uh, we just we get extra lucky because we get to work in elementary school. We're Springdale Elementary and we're School of the Week. <laughs> Congratulations, Springdale Elementary, on being our School of the Week. This afternoon, former students, teachers, and the public are welcome to walk the halls of the original Springdale Elementary School one last time. Now, the school, new school is still under construction and should open for the next school year. Tonight's walkthrough is happening from 4 to 6.30 at our School of the Week, which sits on Northside Drive in Macon. Back to you. Uh